Wolfie Garma Wolf Pack. It's Wowie Wolf here. To whoever's new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And you can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitch. And Wolfpack, you can also follow me on my merch store as well. So, Wolfpack, we're here still on Oahu Island. And today we're going to be going out um, to the Polynesian um, Cultural Center. So we're going to be taking a bus with other tourists. And um, we're going to be heading, uh, I think, northwards um, from Oahu Island. So it's, I think it's heading out that way. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's get into it and let's do this. So we'll think we've just arrived on the bus now. So I'm just running through some itinerary here. You can pause the um, any time in the video anyway. Um, but let's have a quick look. So yeah, these are the departure times each day. So obviously Thursday is today. And uh, we're leaving at 8.30. And this is where all the places we're going around on the island. Um, during our time here and uh, yeah that's pretty much um, the main things that we need to know but um, I'll show you more in the video but yeah stay tuned and uh, let's get into it and let's do it coming out of a pipe <laughs> All right, so Wolfpack, we're here at the Dole Plantation. This is our uh, first stop um, here on Oahu. So this is just a gift shop inside of um, there. But if you come this way, then you make your way around here. Unfortunately, we don't have um, a bio tour guide. We don't have time to do maze or the train ride because we've got so much stuff to do today. But there's a maze right here, looks really, really cool. I would have loved to do it, but maybe next time when I do my next cruise here in the future, um, this will this will be pretty, pretty fun to do. Apparently you can get lost in there. It takes about 40 to 50 minutes that I've been told um, just to do this one. So. Yeah, if you come along here, definitely get your tickets, Wolfpack, and um, it's called the Pineapple Garden Maze. The other activity that you can do here at the Dole Plantation Wolfpack, so you just come along here, and then you can actually take, um, like, a train ride. But you can do this on, um, I think you can do this on Kauai as well. And uh, here you go, people just lining up for the tickets, but that's another event that we can't do because we're doing other stuff. Um, and um, yeah, I'm not sure how long that does take. But yeah, Wolfpack just in front of me is um, all the planted pineapple, I guess pineapple planted trees or something like that. And there's also a lot of history here as well. There's a gentleman right here, Jim Doll talking about it so um, you can pause the video if you like and um, check it out and then there's some more information right here this is the origins the growth cycle and the pineapple production and processing. So yeah, Wolfpack, I'm just gonna walk up to this lake bit as well and then there's a beautiful lake that you can have a look at and whatnot. Looks quite nice. Yeah, I think that's the train over there. And 
as the light here. Little fishies down there. Whoa, so many fishies. And then there's a mountain back there in the distance. So yeah, let's move on to the next location, Wolfpack, and let's do it. Put the pump up on top, sir. So we got an opening coming. And we'll see on the other side also. Now surfing, how about you know for surfing? The surfing mecca of the world. All the Makaina now are the coming people stayed on the beach. When the royalty left, then everybody went back to the water. Now surfing originated in Hawaii. Does all Hawaiian <laughs> <laughs> My friends were never the same since. <laughs> Alright, family, can you guys hear me? All the way from the front? Yeah. Yeah? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Awesome. To shout out our tour for today, gonna get a one big club. Aloha! Aloha! Now we did this time with power, alright? Let's say it one more time. Aloha! Aloha! Welcome to the Polynesian Culture Center and our producers for today. Feel free to take pictures and videos along our tour so that you guys will have memories with your family here. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Jay and I come from the islands of Tonga. Today I'll be your canoe visit for today. Such an honor to be here with one of our canoe types So today. It's going to give us a tour all the way to the other side and I would like to introduce his name right here as Cody. Here Cody! Here Cody! Alright. Okay. So, I may look like a tourist, because I kind of am now. But I used to be a tour guide here, and Jay is awesome, so he just allowed me to give you guys a little bit of a tour of my experience that I had here. Okay. So, I come all the way from the Big Island of Utah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We got Jay from Tonga, and I'm from Utah. But, has anyone been here before? Yeah. Yeah. A few times? Perfect. So for those who haven't, <laughs> all to use the past move back in, it is so good. So my job today is to teach you a little bit more about Polynesia. Now to start off on our tour, I want to talk about this island on our right, which is the island of Samoa. In the island of Samoa, the way you greet someone is you say Talopa. Talopa. There we go. So Ben, if you go over here, Oh yeah, everyone say Talofa! One, two, three! Talofa! So family, you can come right over here. There's a few different things and activities you can do. You can come over here to learn how to start a fire, uh, learn how to do some fire dancing later tonight. Mm -hmm. But something that I love about Samoa, it is known as the heart of Polynesia. Sorry Jay, it's not Tonga. <laughs> but uh, that's because it's located in the middle. So what I'm going to talk about is a little bit about the locations. So in the middle of Polynesia, it is Samoa. At the top of it is an island called Aote, I mean Hawaii. At the bottom left is the island of Aotearoa. And at the bottom right is the island of Rapa Nui. I'll talk a little bit more about those later on. But does anyone know what the word Polynesia means? What was that? Many Nisias. Many Nisias, that's right, but many islands. Nisia means <laughs> islands. So Polynesia means many islands. And so that's what it's called today. But now I want to talk about this island right here on the right. On the right. This is Aotearoa. The way you greet someone here is you say Kiora. 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 <laughs> so these guys are known as the Maori people. Now what makes this uh, them so cool is actually a little bit about the name. Itself, Aotearoa. Aotearoa means land of the long white clouds. So, family, I'm going to have you guys all look up at the sky and look into the words of the left of the sky. Once we get over this rocks, which I'll talk about this, you're going to see some mountains. That's because Aotearoa means long white cloud, and they would use clouds to navigate across the sky, and they usually get stuck behind the mountaintops. Has anyone seen Moana? 
As just as Moana used the stars and the clouds to navigate, that is true. Now right behind us, family, is the island of Rapa Nui, also known as Easter Islands. So a little fun fact about Easter Islands, the way you greet someone there is you say hola. Hola. Because they are all the way uh, by, they're actually underneath the Chilean government now. Okay, but does anyone have any questions so far? No. no. Spanish? Yeah, they speak Spanish. So Rapa Nui actually had a small civilization of about 11,000 people. And then when colonization happened, it decimated the population and dropped it down to a mere 111. And they were an oral tradition people. So everything was not written down, it was passed through voice. So because so many people died, a lot of the actual history was lost. Now, family, I want to talk a little bit about this boat right here on the right. This boat is called the Wakatoa. Everyone say, Wakatoa! Wakatoa! So, Waka means canoe and Toa means war. So, how many people do you think can fit on here? 50. 50? 50? Yeah, that's a pretty good guess. 50 is. And so, well, they would use this as a canoe for in coastal lands just like what we're on. And they would use this during wars. And then right over here on the left, you're going to see some other canoes. Um, these canoes are called outriggers. So they would use these canoes for a few different things, for fishing. But nowadays, they also use them for actual racing. But this is also the kingdom of Tonga. So the way you greet someone here is, I want, this one's a little harder. Everyone say, Malo El Lele. Malo El Lele. Hey, there you go. Now, now say it faster. Malo El <laughs> that was good, that was good. So they are known as the Kingdom of Tonga still because they were never conquered by any foreign power. And if you guys want to, they have the best show here. It's a drumming show which they might call on someone to participate. So if you want to have a good laugh, you might just want to head over there. <laughs> so as we go underneath this bridge, families, free, feel, feel, feel free to touch the bridge on this one. Um, this bridge is known as our Lucky Bridge, and enjoy the rain, the waterfall we have. Okay. <laughs> Little miss. Oh, oh, don't stand. Just kidding. Well, why are you standing? Uh, yeah, good point. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now I want to talk about this canoe here in the center. This canoe right here is called the Thamakau. So the canoes were very important already. So far, we've seen about four canoes. We've seen the Wakatoa. We've seen the outriggers, the Thamakau, and the one we're on right now. And yeah, we got it. This one's the most important one. Yeah. But they would use canoes to navigate navigate across all the vast islands because there's about that's about the distance from uh, here to Tahiti, 4,600 miles. Oh. That's longer than it is from Hawaii to LAX. So and they would do that by boat, and so they were able to navigate this just by looking at the stars, the ocean, uh, the sea life and everything. So what, yeah, so what makes this boat so unique is this is actually the fastest boat and the most universal boat because that cell is actually on a pivot point. So it could actually turn 360 degrees. And so there's a rope that was tied so if you wanted to flip it, you would undo the rope and the cell would swap to the other side. Now family, I want to talk about this island on the right. This island though is the Fiji Island, Fijian Island. So they are actually in part of Melanesia. So Melanesia, Mel means dark, Nesia means island, so the dark islands. But they're also included in Polynesia because they're also like right on the border. So they're also known as the crossroads of the Pacific. But they're included in Polynesia because of their culture. And that, I like that because it shows you that it's not so much about what's on the outside that defines who you are, your skin color, it defines on what you do as a people, culture, and heritage. That what makes you who you are. Um, you can go over there, try some food. Um, actually, there's no food there. There's just like some fruits. Um, I don't, I, the, it's noni. I always, when I would come here, I'd take my guests to go try the noni food. Noni's really nasty, so don't try it. <laughs> yeah, I want to talk about this island right here on the left. This island is an island known as Tahiti also known as the Romantic Islands. The way you greet someone here is you say, uh, oh my goodness, bonjour, because they speak French. Okay. Or you can say, yorana, 
as well. You are on And then they have a wedding ceremony. You guys can go, go attend to if you want to later on today. Now the island on the right is our host island today of the island of Hawaii. Now, in the, in the islands of Hawaii, it's actually Hawaii, not Hawaii. The V makes uh, the W makes a V sound. So you can come over here, try a few different uh, games and activities they have. You can go try something called Poi. Poi is fantastic. Uh, it has all the nutrition your body needs except for protein, and it can spend up to two months outside without it being refrigerated. And has more vitamin C than uh, oranges, uh, and has more potassium than bananas. For mountains and birds in flight, the sound that we will can mimics the leaves that rustle through the wind. This is the unique sound that we will leave. Hello, Hello. Hello. After feasting, they were too fat to swim out through the same openings. Now it was the Hawaiians' turn to feast. She came first to the islands of Niihau and Kauai. We know now that these are the oldest islands and the eight islands that make up the state of Hawaii. Kauai is unique. The interior opens to a canyon resembling that great wonder, the Grand Canyon. Then, on a yellow island, Oahu. Diamond Head on that island is the collapsed crater of an extinct volcano. Now she breathed her fire on a newer island still, Maui. There she dwelt in sacred Haleaka. Wow. This volcano was sleeping, but not dead. where I want to live. After Look a vicious fight with her sister, well, the goddess of, of the sea. It's gotta be school. It looks like it probably is. Elementary school. Yeah. She crossed to the newest of all the islands, Hawaii. Yeah. Where she dwells, eyes glowing to this day. Spewing and just off the shoreline, oh, it's kind of crazy, but just off the shoreline, there'll be an island coming up into view, Kaneohe Bay, known as Coconut Island, aka, right now you see that island? Wow. Nickname yeah. Gilligas Island. So what I heard, that's the island that they show. They never did film on it, but that's the island that they show. Alright, so Wolfpack just got back here in Waikiki, an awesome time today uh, at the Polynesian Culture Center. So Wolfpack, we're here at Zaho. Like, what the? What's that noise? What is this? So uh, today Wolfpack um, is actually when Pearl Har the bombing of Pearl Harbor happened. So it's sort of like Pearl Harbor slash um, but they also had cars as well in it. It's also sort of like Christmas themed, I guess. But yeah, it's pretty cool. They were revving some engines up there as well. They had some cool cars and whatnot. I'll cut the scene as well and I'll show you all the cars revving their engines. Um, yeah. Some people just marching, I guess. So it's sort of like Anzac Day. Having a, having a party. Yeah, I'd say that. So sort of can take day party situation. So yeah, I'm like just gonna be um, gonna go get dinner now. Um, just chill out, relax, it's been a long day. Says, uh, let's get something to eat and let's do this. So Wolfpack had an awesome time at the uh, uh, the Polynesian Cultural Centre today, Wolfpack. So yeah, stay tuned for next week's uh, video, and remember, 
together forever wolf pack. Be an awful big adventure.